back from Chemnitz. And in today's episode of Dye Pot Weekly, I want to explore whether you can actually dye 100% acrylic yarn using acrylic craft paints. Now, I'm skeptical because you don't usually use acrylic craft paints to dye fabric or anything. I believe that they will stain fabric, but if you actually wanted to paint something on fabric and have that stay, then you would use a fabric paint. Um, and you know, just because it's an acrylic craft paint doesn't mean it's meant to paint acrylic fibers. It means that the paint itself is made up of acrylic. So I'm skeptical about how the yarn will feel after it's been painted. I think that it'll be a lot less soft. Uh, I am skeptical about the washability of paint of the yarn painted with acrylic paints. Um, and yeah, so I want to test this out and see does it work? Is it a fine way to deal with this? And if it works fine, what kind of projects would it be useful for? I made five 23 gram skeins of yarn. My plan is to pre-soak all five dye three and then you know let them dry and then my plan is to wash two of the skeins um, one of the undyed skeins and one of the dyed skeins so that way we can see uh, any changes from coming out of the wash and yeah and I have some other tests in mind as well while the yarn is pre-soaking, I am going to start diluting the paint. I've added a cup of water to this bottle, and I'm going to add all as much of the paint as I possibly can into this bottle and shake it up. Um, apparently, this is one of the things that keeps the yarn from getting totally icky sticky. I know, you can't. really see. Now I might be adding too much um, water. I'm not sure, but I think that a cup of water should fit into 75 grams of yarn without much problem. And okay, it's a little creepy how much this is kind of resembling Gatorade <laughs> right now. So the recommendations that I've seen have been to use as dark of a color as possible because the yarn, the finished yarn will be somewhat pastel. Um, I mean, this makes sense. You usually want your dye stock to be more concentrated than your... than what you're gonna dye, but if this works, then maybe I'll try doing a variegated yarn. Um, I guess I'd have to get more paint. All right, I think, I mean, I could rinse this out to get a little more paint in here, but I am not gonna bother. It's interesting how foamy this got. So the color today is violet. This is a AC Moore store brand paint that I selected mainly because it was the cheapest. Um, and proof of concept wise, maybe you know you'll go to something else. So I wonder. So you can see that there's a lot of bubbles in there, but hopefully since um, I still have a good 20 minutes to pre-soak the yarn, this can sit and will settle a bit before we start trying to apply this acrylic paint to the fiber. All right, I removed as much of the water as I could from these three mini skeins of yarn because I want them to take up as much of my diluted paint solution. Although I realized that ultimately when the paint dries, um, all the water will come out. So I might not be able to add that much because I 
start off with too much water. I am wearing gloves just so that way I do not paint my hands. And I am going to start adding some paint and working this through the yarn with my hands. Well, that's kind of fun. You might get some like variegated coloration. You can see that certainly there's a lot of paint that can be squeezed out, but I'm just squeezing to help get some color all over. All right, I'm going to add some more. Oops. Now the other concern I have with this is when I hang it up to dry, um, I don't want to get paint all over everything. Um, you know, I don't want, I don't want my, I have a drying rack in a bathtub. I don't want my bathtub to be all painty. So I'm not going to want, I'm going to want to remove, you know, a lot of water from it. And so, all right, right now, like, we've certainly changed the color of the yarn. I mean, there's no doubt about that, that we have, like, uh, on camera it looks a bit brighter, like a little more red. We, right now it's kind of like a nice dusty purple. Um, so you can squeeze out a lot of the paint. And it's not like the color is absorbing to the fiber or anything. We're literally just picking up the color kind of like a sponge. So you can see why I'm a bit skeptical. I mean, maybe if there was a fabric paint or something that you were going to try this with, that might work better. Um, is this going to drip? It just. I am not that optimistic. <laughs> so, but I've seen this, you know, come up in a few places when you look at how to dye acrylic yarn, then there's recommendations of using paint. Um, and so we have about, so what, this is under 75, oh, right here, this is under 75 total grams of yarn. And we've got probably a whole two ounce bottle distributed over it. So that is reasonably concentrated, but you know, maybe the other videos had you use this much paint on like a 200 gram skein of yarn. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not convinced, but I am, I am convinced, I think, that they aren't actively dripping, however. Um, I will go set this up so that way they can dry, and then I'll come back and tell you what I think about this experiment. So I hung up the yarn to dry and immediately painty water started running everywhere in my bathtub. Thankfully, I had this dishpan that I used to paint the yarn with me. So that way I can collect the paint and not dye my entire bathroom purple. So the gradient because of the drips is kind of cool, but the yarn is starting to dry up here and it's this was a pretty soft acrylic, and it is not soft anymore. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we'll have to see. And right now I am living in worry that I will drop one of the other projects into that bucket. Eek! The yarn is dry, and I am not impressed. I mean, I never really was with this technique to begin with, but I wanted to give it a shot because maybe I could have been surprised. But look at how like stiff this is. And I'm not sure if you can tell how crunchy 
It is, but just look at how little drape there is in this fiber right now compared with the original yarn that is um, extremely soft for acrylic. Um, I'm not usually a big 100% acrylic fan, but um, this yarn is actually feels pretty nice. <laughs> I mean, I think that if you rub this a bit, it gets a bit softer, and the paler sections aren't quite as bad as the, the ones with the more intense color. But, I mean, I don't know if you're supposed to, like, rinse out most of the paint or dilute it further so you wouldn't get, like, the crunch <laughs> effect. But anyway, I want to try washing um, some of this in my washing machine to see if that improves the texture or you know if we lose a lot of paint um, I you know I still have a control bear skein as well but I'm gonna put one of the dyed skeins and a bear skein inside this um, delicates bag and wash on warm with you know a pod of laundry soap and probably an old towel um, just kind of treat it like a normal wash to see how that compares with these two skeins after the wash. So I am not impressed by this technique, but if this is something that you do and that you like, tell me, you know, what to do differently and maybe, maybe I'll try it again um, to get some better results. Just because I am not personally recommending this technique doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it or try it. The colors are pretty, um, and so maybe if you wanted to make a toy or something out of this yarn, um, that or something that would sit on a shelf, I suppose, that could be totally fine. And it's all based on preference. But if you want to dye your own yarn, I recommend um, using one of the other techniques that you can find on the Chemnitz Tutorials channel. So I washed the yarn, and I'm not going to put it through the dryer or anything. And, you know, the yarn is damp. Here is the oh, yarn that we had painted. And, well, we removed a lot of the color. The spots that had the darkest color remain colored. And so this is pretty and much softer. I'll have a better sense of the texture once it's dry. But... It is now predominantly um, basically as white as it was originally. So really when you paint the yarn with paint, you're really just applying paint to yarn and it is not wash fast um, or permanent. Um, maybe this would work great, again, if you were making a toy or something that was gonna be on display versus something that was gonna be used and played with, but I recommend exploring other options if you really have some acrylic yarn that you want to dye. I have a second of our mini skeins of the unwashed but paint dyed yarn and I want to see how it's sticking together. I want to just try hand washing because that's what I typically do with yarns that I dye. And so what happens if We'll start with no soap and get this nice and wet and see what happens and if we can improve the texture or anything. But I will, obviously the bucket is still messy from when I dyed this to begin with, so it won't be immediately apparent if the colors we see are coming out of the yarn or coming off the bucket. Um, but our water is turning purple. Um, I will say that when wet, the texture is a bit improved. Uh, it no longer feels quite as stiff. Um, so maybe uh, this will help things a bit. Although, okay, as the color de is definitely, I think, coming out. So again, you know, if you don't, if you're making something that is going to sit on a shelf and that isn't going to get wet, then maybe this would work fine. But I believe that I 
am starting to rinse some of the color out with just water. And this means that, you know, there's nothing happening here that is dyeing the yarn as much as really just painting the yarn. So, can you use this te technique to change the color of yarn? Absolutely. But it's not going to be uh, washed fast at all, even if you're just rinsing with water and no soap. We can see that some more color is coming out. I do wonder if this rinse to remove some of the paint will improve the overall texture. So if this were to be something that you wanted to explore, maybe this additional written step would help. So when this is dry, I'll come and compare it um, to the other two yarns um, that we dyed and give you my final thoughts there. But I'm not going to try rinsing this until the water runs clear because I think that that would take a really, 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 really long time. So I am going to squeeze out as much of the water as I can and hang this back up to dry. And I will be back to tell you more about its texture uh, and with the final conclusions soon. Here are the finished yarns. We started off with this really soft uh, drapey acrylic. And then we dyed it with some paint where it became, can you hear that, crunchy and stiff. We tried both hand washing the, the yarn, which is an improvement, um, where we significantly lightened the color, but the texture, while there's still some crunchy pieces, it's uh, more pliable than the original stiff yarn. And we even put it through the washing machine where we removed most of the color and the spots where there's still color are still pretty stiff and crunchy. I will note that the bare skein that we put through the washing machine is not quite as soft as the original one, so that's something to keep in mind as well. So what do I think of this technique? It shouldn't really be a surprise when I say I am not a fan of dyeing acrylic yarn with acrylic paints, but to each their own. And if this is a technique that works for you, I would love to hear more about it and what I should try differently to get yarn that uh, would be really fun to work with. I think that if you were interested in using acrylic paint to color a yarn-based project, I would be inclined to apply the paint to the yarn after you've constructed whatever it is you're making. Unless, of course, you know, you're making something for a shelf that's just for display and then maybe it could be fine, but I wouldn't enjoy trying to knit with something that felt this uh, stiff. Um, you know, and the, the color really didn't stay all that well. I mean, I know people said that you get pastel colors, and I think that what they were going for would be something more like this from the hand washing, but, you know, it says a lot that from one round through the washing machine, we removed most of the color, and this is not something that would happen when we dye uh, protein-based, like wool-based yarns with food coloring. That's much more permanent. Thank you so much for checking out this dyeing experiment. Um, I look forward to exploring other methods of dyeing acrylic yarns in the future, things that will hopefully work a lot better than this technique. If you don't want to miss a Dye Pot Weekly episode, make sure you subscribe to the Dependence Tutorials channel. Thanks for watching!